Today's PCBs and packages are getting smaller, and so are their interconnects. Shrinking interconnect cross-sections create many reliability concerns. With 5G on the horizon and rising demands for high data rates and low latency, these power-hungry electronic devices can overheat in harsh environments and fail over time. ANSYS SI Wave can perform electrothermal simulation of complete boards and packages, and uses the results to predict electromigration effects in interconnects. It estimates their lifespan and identifies potential points of failure, allowing designers to find reliability problems that might slip through the cracks before fabrication. Among other metrics, SI Wave quantifies electronics reliability by predicting the failure rate of every interconnect in the layout. This leads to a cost-effective design whose reliability meets the application's requirements. High currents flowing through an interconnect produce an electron wind that can dislodge atoms and transport them away. This causes voids to form in the metal, increasing their resistance and leading to potential open circuits. This electromigration effect is often modeled by Black's equation, a probabilistic model that predicts the mean time to failure, or MTTF, as a function of the current density and the temperature. This virtual prototype consists of an FPGA package mounted on a PCB. To account for current flow effects, a DCIR simulation is performed in SI Wave. The results show the current density in the design. Electromigration is a strong function of temperature. You can perform thermal simulation in ANSYS Ice Pack to get an accurate picture of the board's temperature distribution. Graphical feedback helps to visually identify areas where electromigration effects may lead to damage over time. In addition to the MTTF plots, SI Wave displays warnings and errors ranked by predicted mean failure time and severity. Navigate to the regions above or below a specified MTTF error threshold, or zoom in to the vias and bond wires to locate the affected component. When the chip draws 6 amps, the mean time to failure is over 200 years. Nothing to worry about. But if the chip were to draw 24 amps, its lifespan reduces to just over 6 years, and at 30 amps it drops to 1.5 years. Simulate PCBs in ANSYS SI Wave to easily identify and resolve potential electromigration issues and boost electronics reliability. To go even deeper into the detailed physics of electromigration at the individual component level, consider ANSYS Mechanical, 